The first epistle of Clement ancient Greek, Clementos Pros Corinthius translate. Clementos Pros Corinthius, lit. Clement to Corinthians, is a letter addressed to the Christians in the city of Corinth. The letter was composed at some time between AD 70 and AD 140, mostly likely c. 96. It ranks with Didache as one of the earliest, if not the earliest, of extant Christian documents outside the canonical New Testament. As the name suggests, a second epistle of Clement is known, but this is a later work by a different author. Neither 1 nor 2 Clement are part of the canonical New Testament, but they are part of the Apostolic Fathers collection. The letter is a response to events in Corinth, where the congregation had deposed certain elders presbyters. The author called on the congregation to repent, to restore the elders to their position, and to obey their superiors. He said that the apostles had appointed the church leadership and directed them on how to perpetuate the ministry. Although the work is traditionally attributed to Pope Clement, it is anonymous, and there is no evidence that Rome had a bishop in the monarchical sense at the time. The letter appears to have been written by a single church leader in Rome. In Corinth, the letter was read aloud from time to time. This practice spread to other churches, and Christians translated the Greek work into Latin, Syriac, and other languages. Some early Christians even treated the work like scripture. The work was lost for centuries, but since the 1600s various copies or fragments have been found and studied. It has provided valuable evidence about the structure of the early church. Topic. Authorship and date Topic. Although traditionally attributed to Clement of Rome, the letter does not include Clement's name, and is anonymous, though scholars generally consider it to be genuine. While Clement is traditionally identified as a pope, there is no evidence for monarchical bishops in Rome at such an early date. The epistle is addressed as the Church of God which sojourneth in Rome to the Church of God which sojourneth in Corinth. Its stylistic coherence suggests a single author. Scholars have proposed a range of dates, but most limit the possibilities to the last three decades of the first century, and no later than AD 140. The common time given for the epistle's composition is at the end of the reign of Domitian. The phrase sudden and repeated misfortunes and hindrances which have befallen us one to one is taken as a reference to persecutions under Domitian, the epistle to the Hebrews. Call for leadership from the church in Rome has been thought to have been influential. Some scholars believe one Clement was written around the same time as the Book of Revelation, c. AD 95 to 97. Topic: Content. Topic. The letter was occasioned by a dispute in Corinth, which had led to the removal from office of several presbyters. Since none of the presbyters were charged with moral offenses, one Clement charges that their removal was high-handed and unjustifiable. The letter was extremely lengthy. It was twice as long as the epistle to the Hebrews. And includes many references to the Old Testament, of which he demonstrates a knowledge. Clement repeatedly refers to the Old Testament as Scripture. Point one Clement offers valuable evidence into the state of the ministry in the early church. He calls on the Corinthians to repent and to reinstate the leaders that they had deposed. He explains that the apostles had appointed bishops and deacons, that they had given instructions on how to perpetuate the ministry, and that Christians were to obey their superiors. The author uses the terms bishops and elders presbyters interchangeably. New Testament references include admonition to take up the epistle of the blessed Paul the Apostle XLVII, 1, which was written to this Corinthian audience, a reference which seems to imply written documents available at both Rome and Corinth. 1 Clement also alludes to the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians, and may allude to Paul's epistles to the Romans, Galatians, Ephesians, and Philippians, numerous phrases from the epistle to the Hebrews, and possible material from Acts, James, and 1 Peter. In several instances, the author asks his readers to remember the words of Jesus, although they do not attribute these sayings to a specific written account. These New Testament allusions are employed as authoritative sources which strengthen the letter's arguments to the Corinthian church. Despite Bruce Metzger's claim that Clement never explicitly refers to them as scripture, Clement 56 provides a quote which he refers to as the Holy Word. 
This quote is found in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6. Additionally, 1 Clement expressly references the martyrdom of Paul and very strongly implies the martyrdom of Peter. Sections 5 to 4 to 6 to 1. Point 1 Clement was written at a time when some Christians were keenly aware that Jesus had not returned as they had expected. Like 2 Peter, this epistle criticizes those who doubt their faith because of the delay of the second coming. Topic: <laughs> Canonical rank. Topic. The epistle was publicly read from time to time at Corinth, and by the 4th century this usage had spread to other churches. It was included in the 5th century Codex Alexandrinus, which contained the entire Old and New Testaments. It was included with the Gospel of John in the fragmentary early Greek and Ochmimic Coptic papyrus designated Papyrus 6. 1st Clement is listed as canonical in Canon 85 of the Canons of the Apostles, suggesting that 1st Clement had canonical rank in at least some regions of early Christendom. Ibn Khaldun also mentions it as part of the New Testament, suggesting that the book may have been in wide and accepted use in either 14th century Spain or Egypt. <laughs> Sources Though known from antiquity, the first document to contain the Epistle of Clement and to be studied by Western scholars was found in 1628, having been included with an ancient Greek Bible given by the Patriarch of Constantinople Cyril I to King Charles I of England. The first complete copy of 1 Clement was rediscovered in 1873, some 400 years after the fall of Constantinople, when Philotheos Bryennios found it in the Greek Codex Hierosolimitanus, written in 1056. This work, written in Greek, was translated into at least three languages in ancient times. A Latin translation from the 2nd or 3rd century was found in an 11th century manuscript in the Seminary Library of Namur, Belgium, and published by Germain Morin in 1894. A Syriac manuscript, now at Cambridge University, was found by Robert Lubbock Bensley in 1876, and translated by him into English in 1899, and a Coptic translation has survived in two papyrus copies, one published by C. Schmidt in 1908 and the other by F. Rosh in 1910, the Namur Latin translation reveals its early date in several ways. Its early date is attested to by not being combined with the pseudepigraphic later second epistle of Clement, as all the other translations are found, and by showing no knowledge of the church terminology that became current later—for example, translating Greek presbyteroi as seniores rather than transliterating to presbytery. See also Topic Papyrus 6 Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic Catholic Encyclopedia article on Clement of Rome Early Christian Writings, The First Epistle of Clement, Useful Links Lexandria, 1 Clement, Epistle of the Romans to the Corinthians, English translation by Cursip Lake Patristics, Clement, Epistle to the Corinthians, Patristics. Co. The use of material deriving from the Synoptic Gospels in the Letter of Clement to the Corinthians 2012 translation and audio version The First Epistle of Clement to the Corinthians Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox.